What is up guys, Alex here with spray painting my graphics card. Let's get into this. So the idea behind this project was to basically have my graphics card looking a lot nicer than it currently does. Now, if you guys didn't know what graphics card I have, I have a GTX 950 Strix Edition. It was using my £600 PC build, which is up in that top corner right up there. The idea behind spray painting it is because my PC is a black and white theme PC, so I really wanted something that's going to suit it well and look a lot nicer than the official Asus cooler does look. So step one of this was to basically remove the graphics card from the PC, something which is probably the easiest thing you can do, and I've done it about five times now. Once I'd removed it from the PC, then all I had to do was take off the cooler. Again, something which was surprisingly easy. It was just clipped on to the heatsink, so I just unclipped that and then unplugged the power for the fans, and it was done. So once I did that, I had the cooler off the card and the card back in the machine, so I was still using my PC to listen to music and things. So all I did then was remove the fans from the cooler, which was three screws per fan, so six screws in total, then unplugged them from the little Y harness, which was connecting the fans to the PCB, and then basically I was good to spray paint. Or was I? I was about ready to actually stop spray painting when I realised that what I need to do is mask off all the gloss black sections which I want to keep so it has a nice black and white accent throughout the card theme. And this was the most boring part of anything I've ever done. It was the worst two hours of my life, honestly. I spent two hours using electrical tape trying to get these fine little details just so I could have a nice looking card. It looks amazing now that I've done it, but at the time I was thinking, is this really worth it? Should I just take the spray paint back to the shop, give my money back? But at the end of the day, I didn't, I kept with it, and I'm really glad that I did. Now, something that I'm really glad that I did as well is I put my own custom logo on the top in electrical tape, so now that's a black thing on the white card. It's such a nice addition, and it does give it that custom feel, so I know it's my card. So once I masked off everything, I knew I was good to go with the spray painting. So I took the SSD trays as well, which you might be able to see just behind me there those SSD trays. I took those with me as well and yeah I decided to spray paint those as well just because that'll give it another white accent. I'm really glad that I did those um, but I did those actually last and I did the card first. So I did actually initially plan to use primer and then a layer of spray paint but actually I ended up doing three layers of primer over the card waiting 30 minutes between them all and then I realized that it actually looks good enough so I thought oh this is good let's just take it back and put it onto the PC and I did the same for the SSD trays. Now the SSD trays turned out fine after two coats actually, on both sides just in case I ever remove them. They look really nice on my PC and they give it that other black and white accent which I'm really loving right now. So then with the card, once that was done, all I had to do then was remove the electrical tape from the card which was covering up all these shiny accents, and then also the Strix, like the red things, I guess, I don't even know what to call them. I never actually removed the initial covers from those so I used those, just peeled them off and it was done basically. So once I then removed the tape from my logo and the Strix logo also, it was basically a finished project. All I had to do was plug the fans back into the card then attach the cooler on top and it was basically done. Would I recommend doing this for you guys? Well, it depends if you want to actually go through the process of tearing apart your card, which is potentially losing your warranty just to make it look a bit nicer. Personally, I love the results it's given me even though the primer actually isn't a good thing to have on the outer coat because it does wear away quite easily, especially I noticed that when I was holding it. Overall, I am happy with the result it gave me, but I'm not really sure if I'd do it again. I might do, I'm just not exactly 100% sure. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one.